Jack Benny's wife, Mary Livingston, also happened to be his professional partner on both his long-running radio series and his television show in the 1950s. It was all by accident because an actress dropped out at the last minute early in the run of his radio series, and he called his wife up and said, come down here quick, I need you, I need a last minute replacement. Turned out she was a very talented comedian in her own right. But the strange thing about Mary is that she developed stage fright Later in her career, as opposed to the beginning, she finally became so paralyzed before performances that Jack realized he could not have her uh, going out in front of audiences anymore. So he worked out an arrangement where she would pre-record her lines at home and they had to be edited into the radio show one line at a time. Um, he didn't know what else to do because she had she had her own popularity. She was a big part of the chemistry of the series. So he had to work around her. And it was a miracle that he was able to coax her to get in front of the cameras when it came time to do his show for television in the 1950s. But Mary was known to be very jealous of others, particularly of Gracie Allen. You know, George and Jack were very close friends and she and Gracie put up the front of being friends, and that's basically what it was, a, was a front, because neither woman especially liked each other that much. But it was when Gracie, in the late 50s, announced that she was retiring from show business. Mary, soon afterwards, announced her own retirement, as if to one-up Gracie. Um, many wondered why Jack put up with Mary, why he loved her, but he did love her. As I told the story the other day of how he made arrangements in his will for a single red rose to be delivered to her every day for the rest of her life after his own passing. Please like and subscribe my channel, Chuck's Captivating Chronicles.